Hello, beautiful people. Most welcome to the page here on GBC News. Uh, we're going to do chit chatting as usual as we do it, but today we're taking the focus on football. Remember, the Ghana Premier League was climaxed not long ago with glorious as of folk. Imagine the champions after a number of years, a decade and counting, and so they are very, very excited. But one team that is licking its wounds at Kumasiya Santo Kotoko, and so many things are happening. But this group of uh, teams, uh, plus other ones, are still in a competition called the MTNFA Cup. And the MTNFA Cup is in its quarterfinal stage. And this weekend, uh, matches will be played at some venues in this country. And so we just want to chit chat and really find out exactly if a class of folk really wants to do it a double or they can do it a double by progressing to the next stage and eventually winning the competition. Or a sign for has to allow Kotoko to also have a silver medal, pick a silver medal and appease their fans. Or the other things that are left in the competition uh, to also just get something home and uh, see how it really will be going in for whether hearts are tired or exhausted. We really need to do so today. I've been joined by a host of colleague journalists who have been following the football season very, very well, despite the Tokyo Olympics, which is happening now on GTV Sports Plus. Uh, action going on. We, we just want to find out what will be happening here at home and on, at our backyard. So I have Lord Marvin Borte in the house. Uh, Nanaya Obimpe will join us on Zoom, same as Michael Insia Otri will also be joining us on Zoom for us to really be doing this chit chats. But let me quickly come to home first, the person here, and then before I let him talk, just take a look at the fixtures very well for the the quarterfinals for the FA Cup. If by chance you are still buzzing in the Accra to folk victory, so this is how it is going to look like. Ash Gold will take on King Tampo top talent. Then Kotoko will play Brikum Chelsea. Then Elmina Sharks will play Accra Hearts of Folk, and Midiama will take on a tram divisor. So anybody that progresses from this stage goes to the semi-finals and then straight to the final. So the probability, if you look at where Accra Hearts of Folk is, and look at Kumasiya Santa Kotoko, should the two teams win this particular encounter and progress, they go to the semi-finals. They will never meet till they meet at the final. And if it happens the other way, a Midiama should go, you see them progressing, same as a tram divisor and so Elmina Shark. So the parents have been done in a certain way that if it happens that Hearts and Kotoko should up their game and progress, the finals will be between Hearts and Kotoko or Brukum Chelsea and Ashgood or Kintampo Top Talent and a tram divisor if it happens that way. So this, this is how the parents looks like. So I am in the studio with Lord now. Um, <laughs> <to find out>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a privilege to be here on the page, and uh, as far as you talk about empty and FA Cup, it's the cleanest of all competitions I see. And no, it's, it's the truth. I mean, let's let's face the fact. I mean, nobody can fix an empty uh, FA Cup game. Nobody, because it's a knockout game. And well, why do you say you can't I, fix I'm, it? I, I, I don't want to go there, but I'm saying that <laughs> it's the cleanest of all the leagues we play in Ghana, and obviously nobody can can t just tell me that that any match in the empty and FA Cup can be fixed. That's what I can say. So let's push it. Let's put all our love behind this MTNFA Cup because it is the cleanest for me. I'm saying this. I've said it over the years and I'm still saying it that with the knockout stages, with the knockout competition, it's very difficult for you to even pull plugs or pull strings anywhere. But I, I, I still want to say this, that in case you don't know, like you said, probabilities, I don't really believe in that, but I'm telling you, they might, it might also be that Kotoko and Hearts will never meet. Okay, so let, let's, go back, let's go back to your <laughs> <laughs> the fixtures again, the and, then, and then look at how uh, the parents again, so viewers, if you look at it very well, so Ash Gold and Kintampo Top Talent. That's a road to the, the final. I understand, but I'm telling you, there's probability that they, can all, they might also meet at all in the tournament, because if they don't get to the finals, they will never meet. But so I'm telling you, there are teams you should look out for before we even get to the parents. A team like King Tampa Top Talent, trust me, you should just watch them play. A team like Atram uh, Device, you should watch them play. These are the teams at the lower divisions that I am so impressed about. And when I see lower division teams playing four, five, six square passes together, I, I, I get goosebumps all, all over my body because I feel, okay, what happens if this team are being kept, the core of the team are being kept for years, two, three years? Only God knows how far they can go. Imagine a Trump DVC gets to the final and beats to represent Ghana and the Confederations Cup. How beautiful it will be. They play beautiful football. Okay, they play. So let's quickly join our colleague Nanaya Bempe uh, via Zoom. Uh, Nana, good to have you. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us. Nana, now tell me, uh, the road to the, the final, if you look at the quarterfinal parents, uh, uh, are, are you envisaging any shock or the, 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 the usual uh, big boys uh, making their way?
Now, if you can hear me, oh, mute, mute yourself children, and let's go. Uh, I'm a, a actually expert some shock. Uh, perhaps maybe uh, I will not really be. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. So uh, just be a little bit audible and let's hear you. Are you expecting any surprise? So what I'm saying is... Well, uh, expecting any surprise... Well, if we are to get into the history of the MTN Africa, perhaps it will bring in the mystery that this tournament has always brought about, that we know that this mystery, which to be and you'll be far see coming again, at Marcia and and a host of those who, when a doctor were able to spring up to fight and get themselves to the top level of this particular so to expect us, uh, it's always sat on the back. But as to whether that one this is in what we know how but we are looking at this one one fixed that out to a just a particular community, especially that is to rekindle their interest or their desire for Africa, especially they, they slipped out on the uh, for the 2020-21 late season. And so they would want to use this because you remember. Uh, I mean, with the dawn of Naya and Ponsa, they, they, they launched this project that they wanted to get into Africa to conquer Africa and make Marcia Santi Kotofe great again. But it appears that dream, uh, you know, is going to go to Africa. They mean that they will have to win this MTN Africa. And then they're coming up against Bekum Chelsea. And Bekum Chelsea will know that it's not fair work. Well, um, Nanao. Good for, for that submission there. We'll be getting highlights of Marcia Santé Cotta really uh, in their other matches that they played in the FA Cup. Uh, the last time they played, I remember they won by three goals to nil over a lower tier side. We'll get their highlights of Cotta Cotta. But Nana was raising concerns well, about Marcia. Just to what he was saying, yes. I, I know the line he was telling and he's a very good friend of mine. So obviously, he's talking about the Cotta dream of playing in Africa, yes. representing guy in Africa. Yes. It's not all lost. I mean, there's only a slim chance. Probably we could call it a window once the door has been closed by the crowds of folk mm. team. So the, the window uh, opportunity for them to join in Africa is to play in the in, in, to win the MTA FA Cup, which is very difficult as it stands now. Brickum Chelsea is a past winner and, and they, they understand playing in that terrain. And obviously let, let, let's have a feel of the, the protocol game, how the boys play. So if you look at them, this is against Thunderbolt. Uh, yes, Thunderbolt. This is the protocol squad. Yes, uh, minus Kami Poku that left and then bro, whatever, whatever. This was their week. With th this was their, their, their 32. Uh, yes. Run of fixtures. I still feel that uh, there's nothing lost with Kotoko. Really. There's everything lost with Kotoko. Why? I, I must have admitted. Why, why do we? I've never gotten the chance to uh, do this analysis with you, but there's everything wrong with Kotoko. You don't sell your lead man. You don't sell your goal poacher. You don't sell your results oriented. You don't sell the player that gives you, that keeps you going in the game. Kukami Poku was the only player who was getting into the empty spaces, scoring all the goals. Not only scoring goals, but adding up to play. He barely gets strikers on the local scenes who would always score, who would score goals and at the same time join play. Kwame Poku is also a ball player. And when he went, Nana Amponsa admitted openly on one of our sister stations that it was a big mistake for, for them to have sold. They've got money. There is money. Ma Kotoko needs if money. money is everything, Kotoko went to Buda Cup this season. If money is everything. So wh wh why do you need money? We must know why we need money. We need money to do what? To recruit more. I mean, uh, the players recruited in his place, have, have they performed very well. Maybe if, they've not. If, they've if got they have, they they have very well. why would you use a midfielder, a first midfielder as a striker in the person of uh, this Brazilian player to play as force number nine, playing against a crowd of four? Why would you do that? It's, 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 for, for, the game, for, the, no, no, for the house game, I thought it was their strategy they had. Which strategy? You develop, you develop strategies to neutralize the opponent's plans. I'm saying that if Adumaku had been very prolific up front, no coach would have sat him down and used uh, an offensive midfielder as number nine, force number nine. There is always a force number nine when you don't have too much trust in your striker. Okay. So obviously you use a midfield, offensive midfielder who can also double as a defensive midfielder in, in the case of defending for you. But in this case, obviously it is very clear there hasn't been any player to replace uh, Kukami Poku. It is so sad that they, they had to sell the, the player for money, only money. Okay, so uh, the, the Kotoko highlights, so Kotoko fans, let, let's hope. So Kotoko will be playing there in the action. My, my, my worry is that Kotoko is yet to play 
a premier division side in the MTN. <laughs> they, they first played against the Quiet. They defeated them. Then this game on screen is a game against Thunderbolt FC, another lower division side. And they also defeated uh, Round 16 as squad Botivo. So that's clearly that they've played against the lower divisions. And the lower division, playing lower division is I difficult. Understand. They, they, they have feet. They are, they are very, very good in terms of F6 and everything. But at the long run, in terms of experience, you cannot compare the experience of a lower division club to the experience of the elite, elite club. And they're going to play against Brooklyn Chelsea. There is no league. To, to, to focus on. Brooklyn Chelsea was, was, wasn't struggling with relegation here and there. So there was no league to think of. This is the empty NFA Cup. And Brooklyn Chelsea, knowing that playing in Africa is very juicy, this is a play, an opportunity for and, them. And you think Brooklyn Chelsea are ready to go no, for Africa? No, the, who is ready now? Kotoko, Kotoko. No, as a folk is really good. They, they won. <laughs> <laughs> they won. But I'm saying that, I'm saying that with all jokes and uh, aside, I'm still thinking that Brooklyn Chelsea, from Brooklyn Chelsea, they definitely know that there are only how many games to play. Playing uh, the quarterfinals, quarter semifinals, so Africa. three games, win three games, and play in Africa. How how can you compare MTN FA Cup road? I call it I call it the fastest but the safest road to Africa. How can you compare this to the league system? Where you're playing thirty four matches, where a team would concede seven goals. That and one is and another and thing. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll so, talk about that so, one later. So like I'm saying, this is the fastest route and the safest route as well. No injuries on the way, fastest and safest. So, win three games and play in Africa. Brooklyn Chelsea, I'm yeah, telling you, with all the, 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 the mistakes, whatever they've done in the past, they still want to play in Africa. Should they win against? Okay, we're going back to Zoom. And Nana, um, are you back? Or oh, Mike, are you there? Nana, are you back? Mike, are you there as well? I'm sure the network I, is I, I, I am good. trying to uh, connect yeah, them very well. I'm Nana, here. you're back. I'm here. Okay, so let, let's look at the lower tier I'm sites back, like I'm back, I'm yes. Let, let's look at the lower tier side like Atram Divisa and then uh Kintampo Top Talent. Uh, surprised that they've progressed this far. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So uh, let's look at Atram Divisa, uh, a lower tier site. Uh, gradually climbing to the top. Are you surprised at their their performance so far? Well, I think I want to go back to my elevations. Okay. That has, well, indeed, I've so, been further than uh, being surprised because uh, 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 it, 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 this is what the the MT Africa has always been about get ten uh, teams like Nani IFC and, 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 and even work shoulders with the likes of quarter court so much impressive. They will be meeting the big guys like they, they, they'll be you look at at the divisor, they, they are coming up against uh, Mediema. Mediema is also a uh, former champion because they won it twice and they and, and guess what? They won it when they played against Kumasa at the quarter court on two occasions and they were able to beat quarter court to it. And so coming up against Mediama and Ajakun Park, it's going to be quite difficult for a tram device, notwithstanding the performance they've been able to put uh, together so far in, 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 in this, uh, in this uh, ongoing um, game. Quickly America. touch so, on the, 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 well, the top indeed, talent, Kintampo guys for me. Get here and mm -hmm. also get some kind of inspiration for... Oh. Okay. So uh, I, I, I'll get back to uh, him and then also... Uh, join Mike, Michael Insian Autry. He was touching mm. on the Atram device yes, yes. against Mediema. And, you and look at their, 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 their road to the uh, quarterfinals. They played that against team, the Mighty Jets. Yes. They played against Okawa United yes. and against Legon Cities. These are the three things that led them to the, the quarterfinal stage. Obviously, you could say that they, these are uh, teams that they could face equally. They have an, an opponent that they are yet to... Their game against Legon Cities, yes. I felt that Legon Cities underrated them. How would you how would you put it? I mean, to some extent, you can say that. But you, I mean, it's, it's an, a game of ninety minutes. Sometimes you, it's easy for us to see w what's the what's wrong on the field of play. But a Trump Divisi team plays a certain format of football where they sometimes grind results. That's how I say it. They are more interested in the results than whatever it is. They might be an academy, but they want they solely due to maybe probably their their their, 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 their founder or their their, their bankroller. They are m much more focused in terms of games they play. That's how I see them. And so you, you still feel that they can give my, my uh, only problem, My only problem is that the game will be played at the home of uh, uh, Mediama. Let me, let, let Does me it change play. anything? It changed a lot of things in the sense that, no. It changed a lot of things in the, in the, in the sense that during the semi-final level, all games will be played at Cape Coast. So obviously, there will be fertile grounds. But 
there will be fair grounds. But this time around, moving to a ground where maybe they might be so comfortable, especially with the experience they have. Let's not forget they have the likes of good quality coaches at the of Affairs. They like the two years I call them. Uh, they are in charge and they are doing a very good job. And I think I still believe that they also would want to represent Ghana with that ticket. Okay. So let's go back to Zoom and then really find out exactly if uh, Mike is there. Mike is not around now. Uh, Nana, uh, we'll be checking out, but before we go, uh, hats of folk, don't you think that they've had enough? I, uh, they've not had enough. I think they, they, they are the most experienced in terms of the FA Cup this season, having played two Premier League sides, Liberty and Olympics. That, that, that wasn't this season. You saw the the rise of uh, Olympics. One would argue that uh, can has go through them, mm. but they went through them. Okay. And then the last uh, team they play was uh, Accra Young Wise, which was a lower division team. So for the experience, my only worry with Accra Folk is as to whether they are done with jubilating. That would be the only <laughs> problem for them if not, because they weren't done with jubilating. That's why Wafa beat them. So if they are done with jubilating, then they have to go through Elmina Sharks. And let, let's not forget, Elmina Sharks have been wounded. They nearly got relegated. Mm. And so this is a chance for them to prove to their owner that, look, we have a stadium. We are good. We are playing at home against a class of We can beat them. Let's prove to our bank roller that, okay, you invested in us. This is the time for you to pay you back. And it's a very beautiful thing for them to be playing in Africa too. They have a stadium, as I'm telling you. So, so, uh, so money is you, coming you, in. You feel new that Atlanta will, will pull a surprise now? It's possible, but I'm saying that uh, unless across folk are still in that jubilant mood. But they are still jubilating. No, yeah. I said unless, because uh, every quality coach and good coach, and I'm looking at what uh, the, the Samobodi have done, they must be out of ju ju jubilating mood by, by this time, preparing to play in MTK. Of course, well, the last time they did double was 21 years ago. Come on. A club like across the folk cannot be boasting of being the, 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 the big uh, team in, 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 in Ghana, in Africa, and then you, the last time you won double, was 21 years ago. They want to replicate that. They want to so, do that again. And this note, if you're a Hassel Folk fan or a Mediama fan, a Trump Divisor fan, uh, Kintampu Top Talent, Kumasa Sante Kotoko, uh, Brukum Chelsea, and then the rest, please uh, uh, cross your fingers because uh, the, this weekend action will be taking place. Support your team. And let's see, there is money at stake too for the FA Cup and uh, Africa as well. Thank you very much for doing the watch a lot. Thank you very much for passing by. We are going back. And then when we return, we'll bring you updates in more in terms of more Tokyo games and everything. Thanks. So